An Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales Book 1, Chapter 15 Meditation 7 On Hell Preparation Place yourself in the Divine Presence Humble yourself and implore his assistance. Imagine yourself in a dark city, burning with brimstone and sulfur, and filled with citizens who cannot escape from there. Reflections The damned are in the infernal abyss, as in this miserable city, where they endure unutterable torments in every sense and in every part of the body, because, as every sense and every part of the body has participated in their sin, so must they participate in its punishment. The eyes, as the reward of their false and evil gazing, will endure the horrible sight of devils and of hell. The ears, which delighted in unholy conversation, will never hear anything except weeping, lamentations, and despair. And so with the other senses. Besides all these torments, there is one yet greater, namely, that they are forever deprived of God and of His glory. If Absalom sorrowed more over the absence of his father David than over his exile. Second Kings chapter 14 verse 32 What shall be the regret of those who are forever deprived of the sight of your sweet and gracious countenance? Consider, above all, the eternity of suffering which all by itself would make hell insupportable. How a trifling annoyance, a slight fever, makes a short night appear long and grievous to us here. What then will be the night of eternity with its torments, that eternity from which arise eternal despair, blasphemy, and rage. Affections and Resolutions Which of you can dwell with devouring fire? Which of you shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Isaiah chapter 33 verse 14 Take warning from these words. O oh my soul, could you live forever amidst these torments? Will you indeed forsake your God forever? Confess that you have repeatedly deserved to lose him so. Henceforth I will follow the other path. Why should I go down into hell? I will therefore make such and such efforts to avoid the sins which will bring me to eternal death. Thank God. Offer yourself. Pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. End of chapter 15